Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Ostrov. Just looking over the town right here. Let's, um, yeah, let's think about things. A lot of folks seem to be uh, alarmed last episode that I had put so many production buildings in without putting in an equal number of houses because we're going to be short of labor. And Well, I know that. We're, we're basically just placing buildings right now, so calm down. It's okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm just laying out the town right now. We'll turn buildings on as we as we wish. The queue can handle an awful lot of buildings, and I don't think there's going to be any issues with the game by having too many in the queue. So I'll continue laying out some buildings here. Then we'll just start place, or, or turning them on as, as we see fit. And I've rearranged a little bit here. I want to get this house done to help out with getting jobs over here for fishing. And the carpentry and the cow shed for getting the plow going over here. Though actually that is not all that critical. Let me think about that. Let's pause. And this guy over here, pause. And move these guys forward. The plow is nice, but already with what we've got laid out, we don't need to plow any of this and still be able to get full production out of everything we've, we've, we've done so far. None of it depends upon that extra 15% going in. So I don't really have to have the plow going right now which saves us two buildings and employing those two buildings. So really I want to get a house down there. I like to get two houses down there actually. Let's see, you are the next one in line. I'll drop you there as a reminder. And then these two right here, the uh, oil workshop and the right there, weavers workshop will give us product to sell which will bring money into the treasury, which will allow me to open up more jobs in here. So let's roll through this a bit. We've got hiring or spot for one worker over here to bring in potato. We've got over here, a guy running the warehouse. Let's change that idea for now to a couple of ladies running it and try that again okay so that the guys are able to do some construction um over here don't really need we got plenty of wood plenty of logs we could have one in there one guy in there to process these 13 logs okay don't need nails we got almost a thousand in there and we've got stuff already storing in the uh, in the, the storage right there with one lady going to get those items Okay, so that's fine. There's nobody working there, nobody working there, nobody working there. Okay. Is that everyone? We've got a manager over here and eventually a worker. We have plenty of people available. So, and, and nobody's filling any of the jobs right now. So, it's not that we don't have enough houses. It's distance. It's it's just Ostrov. You know, they, they spend so much time working on their firewood and bringing water to their house in, in between jobs. There's somebody working there now. So you just got to give it time. I'm also running really slow. We are in 1723. So in three years, well, just beginning three. So in two years and, and a couple of months, we've done all of this. So that's that's quite impressive for, for nine families right now. So not to worry. Um, over here, we're ready for seven laborers to dive in to take care of that when it happens we're going to have one two fallow fields there's only four fields to plant this year so not an issue there either so i'm just going to continue doing what i was doing and playing the game and enjoying it i'm going to drop in the windmill i'm going to drop in some hay dryers i'm going to get some more houses out over here to supplement the the fields and and any of the jobs that are going to show up in this area um if the windmill's out here, then probably another one of the warehouses that can draw wheat down this run to that warehouse. Okay, I like all that. It's just a matter of where. Uh, we've got a road that we're actually kind of pushing off over here well away from this fence line. So if it, it actually runs over there. So what fills in some gaps over there? Anything? Um, what is this warehouse? That's that warehouse, okay. Uh, well, let's let's grab a warehouse right there and do what with it? Uh, front door is there? Yeah. Front door like this, or do we kick you out like this and kind of change the plan? Actually, I think I want to do that. 
Yeah, I'm thinking of a curve of houses out here, which means I've got to start further out here so the curve doesn't clip this corner, which means there's going to be a void right here in this space. Yeah, I like that. You're there. Got a staircase in front of you, so that's probably where that belongs. You're going to go there. We're far enough out that nobody's going to build over here, so I don't have to worry about pausing these real quick. Do we have any activity in this house? Yes, we do. So we're starting to get materials brought over. All the trees are, are uh, done. Clay. Good clay access to there. Clay access to here. Let's get clay access over here. Um, right there. Over in this area. Spin you around like so. And dive into here. How can I sneak this in as tight as possible without having to take any trees out? Something like that. Okay. So we have clay over there now. Clay over there and over here. Got a uh, yeah, pretty good distribution. Easy access to it. Okay, so if the warehouse is there, a curve of houses in here, the windmill, somewhere near this warehouse. What looks good? From this point of view, all right, about as low as I can get. That kind of plops you right in the road there. So if I kick you further down, that could work. We can put a row of trees over here to kind of fill that in. That'll be fine. So I put you even with really the top of, of this guy. Okay. So I can get back over here and kind of see where that is. So we're down around like so. I guess the question is where do the houses start? Hmm. Well, let's build from this way and work work that direction. Let's put in here hay dryers. That's what they're called, right? Hay dryer, yeah. All right, spin you around to where you can see you real well from the direction we usually set the map. Uh, although if I turn a little more, I can get that flat spot right up against the building there. Okay. Now, you can be as far as there, though we're going to have roads cutting into it, which might not look as good later, or pathways. Let's pop you there. Another one down over toward this end, like so, which allows me to sneak another one in right about there. We'll say three is enough for the one cow shed. So with that, what does that do to us as far as the uh, windmill? Okay, so we're somewhere like this. I think that's probably about the right spot. Right in there. Now, what does that do for us? Let's put a house. Um, let's see here. Let's aim them inward, like so. And exactly where? We may have to experiment a little bit to see what it takes to get this curve wrapped around like so. I'll just kind of, let's see, where T? Just kind of curve in like this. Or at least, I don't know how far exactly, but we'll start over here. Now, start leaving a road, or is the road necessary at this point? Do we want that road to continue through, or does that road just service this area with a curve of houses around it? That's kind of interesting. This road cuts right through the trader and keeps going, and it could then curve around like this, you know, see if I can go a little faster. Something like that. Kind of take the shape of the forest there. That might be kind of neat. Hmm. So I guess the question is, do I start, you know, in the middle of the road and work around, or do I take it down and leave the road and start something like that? Let's just try it and find out. You're right there. Okay, next house. And a couple of R's. There's three R's. That snaps you there. Bring you parallel to the front. Yeah, something like that. That curve is going to tuck it into this area right here. About like that. Let's do 
do that. Another like three R's. Another one. Okay, more like that. That takes you to about there. Okay, now what do we have here? Not as ex not perfect, but it gets the impression across. Three more. Now these houses, at least this one right here, I'll probably pause and not complete. But we could set them. That seems a little too much in the back curve there. It does. Let's back off a notch. Take you back to like that. Yeah, can I get right in between? Go with that. What's that look like? That's fairly consistent. We're kind of shallow right here. And then the next one, the last one. Yeah, maybe, maybe not the last one. If we do that. Let's see, where are we this direction? You're right there, and I gotta go further. Okay, what does that look like? So this one would actually take it back to almost uh, 90 degrees again. Kind of like so. Okay. Oops, thought you clicked. Oh, uneven terrain. That is the end of it. Okay. Then that's as far as that goes. Okay. So that curved through there. And then the windmill, which could be working now, actually. Let's bring you to the front. Could work on that one. These are in, though it's not that critical at the moment. What else was in here? This guy. I'd say that's a fairly important one to get up to the front of the line, too. Everything else here we can pause. Now yeah, let's leave the first house available. Continue you. Pause the rest of them. Just kind of strategically start dropping houses in. If you get too many houses in, you're going to have families going broke on you. That's what I'm trying to avoid this time. I'm trying to provide more jobs than houses at first. So that there are plenty of jobs available. And as long as I can get a little trading going in to supplement wages, I've got nobody going broke and leaving the town. That's, uh, I'm trying to to do this in a way that feels a little more responsible than just letting the, the constant message of family is broke come up. I, mean, I can understand our living statue causing problems and not a thing I could have done to have stopped that. That's fine, but, but I can control the rest of it if I do this smart. And smart means opening up the town strategically. So one meal I want to get worked on, and it is already nice. Wow, you guys didn't uh, you guys didn't hesitate. <laughs> Great. Okay, so one more time I want to evaluate things. We've got three or five potatoes in here. I'm not sending out any messengers, so we'll wait for, till uh, uh, Blaclia calls for us and says, "Hey, you got potatoes to sell?" Then I will sell them some potatoes. Otherwise, I want to get one house built out here. I want to get a couple houses built out over here, which they are working on, little by little. Uh, mostly, let's grab you, bring you to the front. That's the one that I was questioning putting in. Okay. You are what? You are right there. Okay. That one probably does need to be done before that second fishing house. So that one gets done. This one gets done. Windmill gets done. And these two get done. And then that warehouse was to help the windmill, though that could wait. We can grab from, from the windmill, you know, straight from the farm for the for you know right at the very beginning. So pause you two. So that gives us the windmill, two houses, and the two production buildings that are really important. So let's go ahead and fire this up to three. We're just going to hit uh, March first here. We'll need to get uh, some sewing going on. And with so few people out there working any other jobs, we should have lots of ladies available to uh, to come and do this work. We could take one out of here for a, for a while. There's nothing to to do with this. That's right. We've got sunflower available now, so let's fire in. Who knows what we're going to have long term? We'll go ahead and put uh, 200 in there right now. Um, we had one person working there. 
who still hasn't used his 13 logs. Maybe it just arrived. I don't know. Plenty of firewood, plenty of wood there. Um, nobody... Oh, we have one lady there who is slowly moving this stuff around. Um, which really isn't truly necessary right now. I'd say not. What we got over here? We'll make sure that we actually get the crops planted, and then we'll go back and fill in all those voids. Uh, let's open up three here as well. Get some fish coming in. What is in the markets right now, out of curiosity? We've got 1.1 fish and about a potato. Market over here is this one. 1 1.5 and, and 0.9. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. They're eating. They're fine. And they've got jobs if they want to do them. We'll filter in and out of here. We're already at field two. Halfway through March. It'd be great if we could get through... Um, all of this was still within March. Let's go ahead and kick this up one notch. See if that uh, gets folks out here. We are competing with the uh, the construction though. Actually kind of are. Let's um, take it back down. Let's go ahead move this over so we know it's these five. Let's pause these just till we get the planting in. Though there weren't actually that many in those jobs. So... We have so few jobs opened up, we have 18 adults to work it. So when you see there's nobody showing up over here, it's not that we don't have enough people. It's that they don't want to work. They're, they're, they're busy doing other things. They're sitting on benches and what have you. Although not these. Just, there's one. Oh, I'm not, I'm not running. So they're just off doing other things. Somebody caught a fish. And so, oh, we, yeah, we've got these ladies working. They're off uh, filling up their, their shops. But we've got... Five over here, four over here. What field are we working on? Working on four. So we just have four and six left and we're done there. Great. Then we'll open up all the jobs again, take it up to speed. I can take it up to three right now. Go ahead and get that done. We got sound? We've got sound. Good. Windmill is already half done. And are we in field six? We're in field six already. Great. So let's take that back down to 100%. Take it down to speed two. This one is starting, but uh, they'll finish that up. Um, here, probably, yeah, I would say we're back to one more lady working in there. We have the three over here. We do. And that's because we're bribing them. That's right. Let's take you down a notch and open up to five and see what you guys end up doing long term. I'm curious to see what that result is. We have five of five here. We have no need for anybody working there for probably till the end of the season until we get some of these buildings built. Are we done? We're on this one. We're almost done. So that one's done. That one's done. This has been skipped. That one is done and skipped and almost done. Great. So over here, we do have one guy. He's still 13 logs. All work is done, nothing to do now. Oh, okay. So in that case, let's put two ladies in here and empty this so that he can start processing those 13 logs. That's what's going on over there. Okay. Over here, we've still got two laborers busy over there. And here comes one more to go to work. Nope, they're both on their rest. One left. He's working. And there he goes. Okay. And she just came in for some sunflower seeds for this one. Okay. And it looks like he's the one who's going to finish off the field. All right. Looks that way, yep. Yeah. Okay, then that should end his career as a farm laborer. Once he checks in, gets his paycheck, and off he goes. Okay, farms are ready for the spring. We got a little further in April than I care for, but uh, it, it got done. Alright, so kick the speed back up and just let them... Well, actually, let's turn on a job for them to do. There we go, windmill. And that house. This house. Oil workshop. Boom. That one's close by, so that's why I filled up so quickly. And we've got the weaver's workshop. Which is probably the next building to be done. Though we are working on this one. Okay. And we'll just see how this all works out. Otherwise, 
Long-term plans for the town while they're doing their stuff. Oh, you can see this flags real well from here. Yeah, I like the way that looks. And these houses here, maybe a market there. And it'll open up into this space. So with that road being left, another farm possibly over here. And they can feed either this farm or feed into that farm. We'll see which way it happens to work out. That's the windmill. I'm thinking the oil workshop is going to be the next one done. Let's get down into here and kind of watch this. Otherwise, fishing. We have two guys over there. That's fine. Fish is coming in faster than we're using it. Can't sell it, so we don't need it to come in much faster than we're using it anyway. <laughs> Come on, guys. There we go. So we're putting the clay clay walls up right now, the, the stucco walls. And... Oh, I'm looking at this and looking at this. That didn't do me any good. What was that? That was the windmill. All right, let's get one guy in here. Now, what are my options here? We can do men and women? No. Okay, never mind. So a guy there. And... We'll, do a, we'll leave a laborer in there for now. It'd be nice for a cart to show up and, and fill this up. Yeah, that'd be fine. Um, otherwise, we're sitting over here again. Now, yeah, almost. So nails, we're probably waiting for more wood to show up than the nails and the boards will build the roof. And yeah, we'll see how that works. Otherwise, we spin this way. We've got two ladies in here and they are bringing in lots of hemp and sunflower. Probably enough to uh, to give us a good start on both of these buildings once this hits. Uh, so one is enough right now. Over here is still waiting for over here. So let's open this one up. The lady that was there will transfer her over. And we'll get more wood moved out of here quicker. All right, now we're, we're in full uh, operation again. Okay, that worked out well. So I'll take you back down. All right, we've got two workers coming in. Wood was delivered, so we should get this guy built here pretty soon. There we go. And we're done. Okay, take you down a little bit, and oil workshop, turn on one. And one should be more than enough. And once we get some oil, then we'll call for oil here. And as he makes it, she'll pick it up and bring it over, and and I uh, won't have to worry about them stalling at five anymore. At least that's the plan. Over here, you're running. You don't have any wheat in reserve. Or, yeah, well, you got one wheat res uh, stored. Turning this into flour. Although you're on a break, you're just starting to work again. And that's moving again. Okay. All right, so I'm thinking that's going to speed us up quite a bit, get him up and running again. Of course, the houses will speed us up more with more people around. We can open up more and more of these jobs. Fish, still doing fine. Four and a half fish over there. Now, we've got the carpentry shop, and getting more carts around will probably help us out. So I'm kind of thinking we want to get that guy going too. Probably so. We've got a space right over here. Uh, market stall. You're in here. Right there. Can I put that there? I kind of can't. I want to move these around a little bit. That's going to bug people, but let's... I'm going to do something here. I'm going to move you over a little bit so I can get two stalls in this corner. Alright. None of you guys, and... Do that again. Turn you off. You go away. You guys empty this out. May take a while. I'm going to have to call for the stuff to be taken to somewhere. Unless they're still allowed to buy from it until it empties. Don't know. Um, don't really have anything. Stored sunflower oil one. Well, we have sunflower oil now. So let's put you in the list. Sunflower oil. And we'll do 100. There's not going to be... Oops. Probably no reason to even have that much in there. But... We'll, we'll hope that the town will be that successful. Okay. Um, awaiting sunflower oil. Which means you can just keep working 
grabbing sunflower. So you're going to be grabbing sunflower now faster than, than she can be bringing it in, which is probably time to get a man in there instead so we can do it by the cartload. So thank you for your service, but uh, yeah, we're going to have to change our plans here. Over here, we've got wheat and flour reserve. That's working fine. Get that one going. Filling up the hair dryers right now with laborers, not cowshed workers, because don't have that up and running. Fish, still up and running? Yep, you're still doing fine. Uh, 588, so we do need to... I haven't missed anything, have I? Uh, you're red. Why are you red? Because that happened to be click last, I guess. Or something. Okay. Or my mouse is just in that part of the map. But, um... See, that's a well. Okay. It's kind of a waiting game right now. Okay, speed up some more. What are we actually working on? Carpentry is not. I'm kind of surprised by that, being so close to the supplies in the houses here. Unless these workers are the ones that are over there. Your fishing dock, your forestry, your fishing dock, and you are the mayor. Ah, that's where the mayor lives. I kind of joked, didn't I, that maybe we'll put the mayor over here off by himself, and it seemed to work that way. Okay. You are oil workshop and trading post and windmill because there's nobody else over here closer to, to live there. With you, I would think, well, you're unemployed, so you're going to be building. You're running the warehouse right here. They are kind of grabbing jobs, except for the windmill, close to where they're living. Kind of interesting how that's working out this time. Didn't really seem to do that as often last time. You grab flour from there to take to here. Okay, so we've got flour for sale now. And you emptied out yet? You have not even begun to be emptied out. I may have to stagger this thing to make this happen. Let's put you into here. Put flour. Now, what is over here? It is fish and potatoes. Okay, no flour. Fish. And potatoes. Uh, right there. So I need to get the fish and potatoes out of there. If I were to get a guy to do that, he should be able to grab these really quick and just empty it out. Then I can delete this one, set two buildings in, then delete that one. That's my plan. Okay, how fast is he moving it? He's still moving it one-tenth at a time, and he's a guy. So it isn't so much male or female as far as the one-tenth. It's cart or no cart. Is that what I'm getting? Kind of seems that way. Interesting. Got, I think we had a laborer help out there for a moment. Because there were two things moving at once. Unless someone was grabbing from here uh, to maybe go to this one. That's possible. Alright, so you're getting there. We'll be doing this here in a moment. Uh, July, crops are doing fine. Hay dryers are filling up the hay storage. And you are so close to being empty. Come on. Someone reserve that. <laughs> Did you fill up? Now you're point seven. You're just taking a long trip to get those potatoes. Okay. And you are determined to continue working on potatoes. No, you went home. Maybe once you get back to work again, you'll grab that fish. There. Now that's... Oh, I must have seen a kid go back and forth. Okay. There we go. All right. Take you down to one. You demolish. Let's put in two more right over here. So I'm thinking that I'm going to make sure to get my alignment right. The front porch is going to be somewhere like that. This was inset. The buildings are actually sitting right out here. And so you're kind of like right there. Ugh! hate when I click like that. Alright. Try to figure all that out again. There and that one. So you are... I'm over here. So you're actually... Clear over there. Something along those lines. Okay, so inward. I'm out this far. Right there. You are going to drop in... Right there. Alright. You are done. 
fish, none, potato, none. Okay, so we have got a market stall that's going to hire a lady and have no women laborers. So woman, man, and we're going to have in here flower and let's hire you. And potato and milk and fish. You are going to be our backup market stall with the other items that we'll be making like the sunflower oil, the clothes, the shoes, sunflower oil, that one. Nope. Okay. Start over. You are clothes, you are shoes, and you were beef. Yeah. So that's that one. We're not going to hire it. Well, we could hire that yet. Yes, we could hire that. Let's do that. We got you set up as woman, man, good. Let's get this one hired as well then. Uh, we've got sunflower oil over here. Let's start selling it. That's going to bring in money into our treasury. So you're set up properly right there. Okay. That means four women now are hired permanently. You will slowly uh, go away as she, whoever she is, starts to uh, to uh, uh, empty you out. I'm just trying to take a, a census right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you're a man. Okay, so I really don't need two of you in that one. And that's all the ladies' jobs except for this one. So that's six women hired, right? Four markets. A manager and a warehouse. What am I missing? That is it. So we have nine women in town and six are hired. There should be three that are not. And it's possible that uh, I've never really confirmed it. I would think, well, she is a laborer, though she has a two month old daughter. I've never confirmed if having young kids took them out of the labor force or not. That was an assumption at one point, but I've seen the opposite enough times to where I don't think I can trust that assumption anymore. So I don't know what's up there. Let's get this speed up to two. We're wheat in town, 8.28 already. Wow, more, you know, far more than we're using. Okay, we're fine there. Getting these guys filled up and farm is we're in the end of july so we're about to hire for that one we didn't get any more buildings built did we just got this guy going so over here oh we got that one going there's two buildings okay so over boy how many times got to click that over there's the carpentry and over here is the weaver's workshop and a couple of houses started working on that house there okay and we've got still plenty of fish in here now, if I were to take you back down to 100%, I don't know what the long-term prospect of that would be. 5.5, what is in town right now? Fish, 6.3. Where would the others be stored? 5.5. Might be counting this because it's not in a market stall anymore. So 6.7, I think. 5.5, 6.3, okay. And over here was another one. 7.3, 6.5. I think it's probably this one here that's been vacated and what's over here. I think that's what's being added up. I don't think it adds up what's in the stalls. So we have a lady working there now. We do have one working here now. And we do have one in each of those now, great farm is set to men and women so all are able to get in there and do the harvest and harvest again isn't as critical as sowing sowing you'd want to have done in the first month to get the greatest production but harvest we have four months to get bring all that in so it's only when we get into october that we need to panic there's only one person working here we've only got the manager here waiting for a deal to come in which hasn't happened yet but we're, we're still more than half of our treasury left, so there's no panic going on there. So really, what needs to be accomplished now is just get some buildings built. Hopefully, every other one is going to be a house from here on out. That should uh, keep the town in a pretty good state of balance as we go. Um, over there, still two guys working at 100%. 
Which is odd, unless they just haven't finished. I'm running at two speed, though. Now well, he's going back to work. So he's had a chance to leave, and he's chosen not to. You've dropped in. You're going to check in, and you're still... You're taking a rest, but you're still hired. Okay, so at 100%, they're not reevaluating their situation and saying that's too far away. So they're doing fine. Okay, I'm going to kick it back up to three. And harvest theoretically has begun, though nobody's taken the, the bait yet. We'll get into uh, toward the end of August, and if still nothing has happened, then I'll go ahead and pause those construction jobs and see if that helps. But I'm kind of surprised that we didn't get a few people dropping in. I know we have three ladies that are not hired anywhere. Huh. No, they're not going to do it, are they? I'll give them just a little bit longer. I've got this up and running. Fish, there's plenty available. Okay, we'll start thinning this out. You guys all head into there. There's nobody working there. We'll leave her on her own. We don't need this. So... Yeah, we'll let him finish his working here. Okay. We'll release you. We still have nobody working here. Amazing. Okay. Alright, let's shut him down. Well, no, we'll keep you going. Let's shut down these guys to begin with. Uh, well, I'm tempted not to shut that one down, though. Of all of them, that's going to bring in more helpers. Okay. Pause you. Over here. Pause. There. Pause. And there. Did that help here at all? Okay. Fish is down. Thatch is down. We still have 10 thatch available to the town. Um, still no one. Okay, I'll turn all this stuff off. You're down. You down. I'm not turning off the managers, though. That it? I feel like I left some. I left the market stalls going. Because those sales will, will, uh, fuel our economy. Hmm. And one time I turned all those off and people suddenly went uh, without food and, and I wanted to all leave town, so I kind of learned not to do that. Though I could take him down. That is income, but so is this if we lose all this crop. So we'll look at it that way. This guy, yeah, we'll take you down as well. All right, let's fill this place up, get it done, hire all the jobs, and call this episode complete. What was that? That was a house. Nice. Yeah, we got somebody moving in. And we've got at least one person more available to work in the farm. Not that you'd know it. So, yeah, the idea that the jobs aren't being filled because there aren't enough houses, it's not that accurate. We know we've got far more than seven available workers in, t in town right now. It's just getting them out to do the job. That's all. We had bribed them last time. Where are we? September? I'm not willing to bribe them this time. Not yet, at least. Getting into November. Maybe so. Although I will take that up, say, to eight. Just in case those that have been sitting on benches not doing anything decide that they actually want to go earn an income, buy some food this month. Now, roads this way. I left this gap because it lined up real close to the center right here. I wonder if the next farm is over here and not out this way. Although, let's get a, si a sense for the size here. Rotate you around right there. So that footprint there would fit here just fine, taking these two trees out. So we'll probably look at a farm complex over here and a farm complex over here. And then we'll decide if we're going to grow this direction or not. I mean, there's plenty of room to do it. Just don't know the extent to which the game will will, will let me do it. You know, stifled growth because 
and we don't have the, the workers willing to go that far to do the job. We'll wait and see how that goes. That's hemp this time, and it's hardly leaving any of the shadows like last time. So I'm thinking that that isn't a bug or an error rather than intentional. These probably aren't supposed to be here. Hemp there. This is... Actually, this is hemp here. Okay. Well, why is that? These four should have all staggered evenly, right? They didn't. Oh. Okay, we didn't get a fallow in this one. Because I figured the plowing would make up for that. Okay. Well, they just officially finished that. Let's set you back into sink for a plowing. So you are a fallow. Actually, fallow, add one in there. And then you are wheat. And then potato. And then hemp. Okay. So we're going to do a couple more. How does that work? Let's go right here. This one. So we're sitting at 55, 72, kind of trying to watch all that. And we'll, I'll look at that off camera, make sure that's still going to work out. Um, this is a success, a success enough that I can turn these other ones back on. We're going to lose some of these workers, and that's fine. They can work through the winter on that. So continue you, and then the other production building, and then... This isn't truly critical. We've got more wheat now, you know, flour, than we know what to do with. Let's get the carpentry going. And another house. And then the cow shed. And we'll look at maybe getting a plow in by next year, if that's possible. They have a lot of work to do over the winter. We'll see how much of this they get done. Um, four people left over there. Did not boost the wage. We could turn this back on for the last... Never mind. We're done. About to, about to freeze over. Although it does happen at random times. It's not always November 1st. So we've got a late winter going on here. See that we're well into November and we still have not frozen over. So this would have been actually a good year to have uh, um, to have problems with the crop and still be able to get it in. That's kind of nice. That gets really going late. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen it this late before. Hmm, neat. That seems to be turning awfully slow for for running at full speed. Does it really vary its rate based on wind? I, I, it looked like I was running at two speed at that speed. It's sped up now, but it seemed like it was running slower a little while ago. Interesting. Okay. Well, probably time for me to turn this off. Just kind of checking. I'm waiting for winter to hit. And it's not going to. Which means I can start next episode in the with, with some green on the screen. And that's kind of nice. So let's call this one done. It's been Noble Rambler. Thanks for watching. Catch you later, folks. Bye-bye.